Steve Passanelli here with Tech Savvy Agent. I want to talk to you today about an application called Social Bro. This is a Twitter specific application that helps you understand who your audience is, when you should engage them, how you should be engaging your audience, and how to grow and expand your Twitter community. This is a great program for people that are new to Twitter, sort of like myself, because Chris did most of the Twitter work for Tech Savvy Agent as well as people that have been using Twitter for a while. There's some really advanced features that, that I can't wait to show you guys here. So I'm going to give you the quick run through. I'm going to make this hopefully as exciting as possible so you don't turn it off because there's a lot of neat features uh, hidden within this application. But first off, let me just say they're not really hidden because it's fairly easy to use. Once you log into the app, it's going to give you a decent amount of information right up front on this main screen. But what's cool about it is it breaks down your community into different groups. So I can very quickly see the people that I'm following who are not following me back, as well as the people who uh, are following me who I am not following back. New followers, recent unfollows, inactive friends, inactive followers, spammers. So I make sure I'm not following them so they can't de direct message me or DM me. Influential followers, famous followers, it really just breaks it down into a number of different categories, even giving you tag clouds, which I'll show you uh, what we can do with those tag clouds here in a few moments. I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the page because the beauty within this system isn't just that it gives you this information. There's a lot of apps out there that will give you this information. It's how you can act upon the info. So there's 346 people I'm not following back. I can click this category and I can view this in a, whoops, I can view it in a list view, a detailed view, or a grid format. The grid allows you to see the most people at once. And I can go through and I can highlight everybody and I can check them or check them all off. Or I can go through and just say, okay, I want to follow these people back. I know they're I know they're following me, so let me just highlight them there or check off the box. Go down to the bottom, and I'm going to click Follow All Selected Users. So this is just basically like a mass update button. So it goes through, and now I am following these Twitter profiles, and I did it fairly quickly. Now this is just one small aspect of the program, of course, uh, one of the things that it breaks down for you here automatically. There's a lot more power in this once we start using the filters on the side of the screen, which I'll show you those in a second. Uh, the other thing that we can do, let me go back to the main page here and show you some of the tools. So if I click best time to tweet, this actually looks at my Twitter community, tells me when they're online, tells me when I should be posting or when I should be tweeting if I'm going to do something really important that I want the maximum amount of exposure for, the time of day as well as the day. Pretty cool stuff. Bar graphs detailing that information even more in depth. And as I scroll down to the bottom here, it provides me with a couple tag clouds. So it's telling me what my, what my followers are talking about. It's telling me about the links that they're sharing and the topics that are resonating uh, with them right now. What am I going to do with this information? Well, now that I know when to post, now I actually know what to talk about because if I want to engage the largest audience possible, I probably want to talk about the things that they're already communicating about back and forth. So I can go and select some topics here just judging by the font of each word that tells me how popular each topic is and that's how we can use these tag clouds along with some of this information we received on the top. All this information can be exported here too if you need to provide a report uh, you know, for your real estate agent, if you're an assistant, etc. So that's a great tool. Let me go back to the main page. That was the best time to tweet tool. There's an insights tool, which has a lot of pie charts, um, giving you even more information about your community. And you guys can look through that at a later date because I'm going to show you some more advanced features here in a moment. And I'm going to go back to the main page and hit up the last one, discover Twitter users. This is great for the new Twitter users out there. If I click this button, and actually even experienced or seasoned users. But if I click this button, this is going to show me all the famous people uh, that are using Twitter right now. Well, I don't really care so much about the famous people. I'm not using Twitter so I can follow Lady Gaga or Paris Hilton. I want to use Twitter so I can follow other influential people within my industry and you guys can do this too. If we go to the advanced search button on the side of the screen here I can type in a keyword into a bio for example real estate. So I key in the word real estate hit the search button and now it found 27,000 users that have the word real estate. So we narrowed it down a little bit right now but I want to make sure that not only can I follow 
people that have the word real estate in their profile, I want to make sure they're prolific. I want to make sure they already have a large following and people find interest in what they're talking about. How can I do that? Let's go back to the filters. I can use these sliders or the drop downs to really customize the contacts that I'm looking for or customize the result for the contacts that I'm looking for. And I want to make sure that I'm going to follow people with over 9,500 current followers. And you see how that narrowed that down fairly quickly down to 562 users. So I can go through, just like I did before, check off the boxes and do a mass follow for these users. And I can even go in, here's where it's really powerful, I can even go in, hit the plus button, and actually let me just choose, it says choose at least one person, hit the plus button, and I can add these people to my list. I can create a new list here, or I can choose from one of my old lists that I have, top realtor tweeters, and hit the OK button, and that will add everybody that I checked off to that list. Which Now when I go to Hootsuite or TweetDeck, I can create that column and have that information right there at a click of a button. So if you're not using a Hootsuite or TweetDeck and you're brand new to Twitter, you want to make sure that you go to the search button on Tech Savvy Agent and search for Hootsuite video or Hootsuite, Hootsuite training. We have an hour training class on it that Chris did. It's actually... Um, absolutely fantastic so so check that out but that's not all that this does let me show you another feature that social bro will do here for you as well I'm gonna go back to the main page and actually I don't want to search all of Twitter I'm just gonna search my account here so we can choose that up on the top of the page there and let's close that out now I want to search I want to do a similar search bio real estate maybe location Pennsylvania and I can type in PA so I can find people that that are uh, real estate agents locally to me or you know what let's just do real estate and I'm gonna hit the search button so these are the people that have the word real estate that are in or in their bio uh, that are actually related to me already that, that I'm following here but watch what I can do when I go down to the bottom of the screen there's an arrow key that says PDF export or CSV export. I can click that button. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Hit the save button. And watch this. I minimize the screen. And I should have, there it is, stevepassanelli.csv. That's what we just saved there. And now we just exported their Twitter information right into an Excel spreadsheet that we can import into our contact management system, even including their bio, which is pretty darn cool. So there's a lot of different exporting feature, features and functionality here uh, within Social Bro that you can take advantage of. And the key here, I would say, with this program is the ability to really break down the search prompt parameters find different groups of people put them into lists easily so you can have a better experience with your Hootsuite or even export the information into your contact management system uh, obviously we can also tweet here from this application I don't know if I'd be tweeting from here you know a lot I think Hootsuite does do a better job but in terms of finding out who your audience is and how to engage with them more effectively I think this is a pretty awesome app and plus it's free as of the time I'm creating this video this app is free uh, I didn't pay a dime for it and uh, I highly doubt it's going to stay free for very long so I recommend checking it out ASAP. If you're new to Twitter, check it out. If you've been using Twitter for a while, it might give you some extra insight into your community. Steve Passanelli with Tech Savvy Agent.